How loud do they dream? If it wasn't for you too, I don't think I would have ever discovered half the things that I've learned about myself. As long as we're in the music together, we're together. They really do care about their fans and always have. But I kind of expect that from you too, because look what the fans have done for them. This band just means everything to me. They're my favorite people in the world. They've been my constant. The music of you two has such a special message. To be a fan, you have to be special yourself. I have followed you two uh, around the world. I was 15 and watching Live Aid, you two came on and completely like lost my mind. My father said afterward, oh, my little girl went from Barbie to Bono. We thought without you, I was 10 years old. I remember that moment. I closed my eyes and oh my God. Without knowing a word in English, uh, I already knew what they were saying to me. There's something about the sound of it that just is comforting. I mean, you two brought me to God. I don't believe in gods, and yet I can understand how somebody would feel in a church at the point of a U2 gig. What I discovered about myself was it's the search that's important, and I want to be okay with looking my whole life. It gets me reflecting and thinking about my own life. How can I make a difference? Does art imitate life, or does life imitate art? Sure, it's both. It's really up to us to, to imitate the music and their music says, change the world, change yourself. The young of the world who have freedom must protect the unfree. That's the goal. That's what U2 does. If the Beatles had, a, had rights on love because they got there first, then, then I think U2 can lay claim to hope. Meeting U2 fans and GA line and stuff like that made me come out of my shell. They're people who make me feel normal. <laughs> As we get together, there's no differences. When you meet a U2 fan, it's almost like, ah. Oh, I know you. There's no way in the world we could have met if it hadn't been for the power of their music. It's my family. It's sort of a, like this revival of conscience and love and kindness disguised as a rock and roll show. I can't help it because, because it's them. It's you too. They're part of me now. In every major and minor thing in my life, every step, their music has been there. This band has touched everybody's lives so deeply. Now, I don't even use the word fans. I always feel that we have a, something else going on in our relationship.